Hey guys, Greg from East Coast Dyes, and they've got a white Nike Lakota to show you guys. Uh, somebody sent it to me, they ordered on my website, www.eastcoastdyes.com, and so they wanted, it's strong with white East Coast mesh, and they wanted a low pocket, something you guys aren't quite used to seeing from me, so you can see the pocket sits uh, all the way down at the bottom, uh, below the midpoint, and it could probably shift even a little further. Uh, low pockets are perfect for attackmen that like the cradle one-handed. Uh, they make a really long, smooth release with less whip than a mid pocket and a high pocket in general. Uh, so if those are some of the things you like, you might consider a low pocket. Uh, they wanted just a really clean, all white look, the white triangle top string, two, uh, two straight shooters and one U shooter. And you can see I've moved the shooters down in the head a little bit, usually they'd be a row up but since it has a low pocket, you want to move the shooters down a little bit in the head uh, so that the ball can sit under them a little better and they do create hold and uh, makes the release a little better, can make the release a little earlier as well because low pockets will have a slower release uh, by nature. So uh, a couple tips about string the low pocket, you can interlock further down the head than you usually would and still get, uh, you can see the channel is really nice. It's not going to be huge and defined you know, because the pocket is lower, but it's really long and uh, really nice long and smooth and creates a really nice release with still pretty good hold. So what I did is I started at the second hole, interlock, zero, interlock, zero, interlock, interlock. So four interlocks in a row, then just one, 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 one. So for this pattern, for the low pocket, just one's all the way down. And the reason you can do that is because there's so many holes so close in the Lakota that uh, doing two ones next to each other is the same almost as doubling up. So when you create those ones, it creates a, a nice low pocket. And one thing you want to do to um, make a low pocket is something I do, uh, you'll see some of my bottom strings keep it kind of tight. What I've done here is weaved in and out through the holes of mesh. I'll show you on the back as well. So it, uh, it curls the mesh up just like that at the bottom and the ball can uh, float down there and sit easier and what that does is bunches the mesh up down at the bottom as opposed to keeping it flat so that it'll really uh, accentuate that low pocket. So anyway, if you guys like this video, throw me a like. You can order stringing an East Coast mesh from www.eastcoastdyes.com. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and stringing videos and thanks for watching.